Hello, Laura. Hi, yeah, nice Hiya. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tony. Welcome to the box. Thank you. This, welcome to St. Luke's as well, part of the box. This is where we've just opened our new exhibition because the night belongs to us. Do you want to come in and have a look? Yes, please. See, this is the kind of main start of the main part of the exhibition. Uh, this is very much looking at live music, but with lots of contributions from the public. The exhibition called Because the Night Belongs to Us has come out of a major community project called Plymouth After Dark. And in that project, what we've tried to do is work with members of the community from across all ages and all backgrounds, um, all interests really, lots of different community interests around what they do at night. This whole exhibition is, is very much a co-production, even though it's kind of um, led through us, if you like, that not a single element hasn't come exclusively through us. It's all been done with the community uh, that we've been engaged with over the years on the project. And I kind of understand that you have also been working on a co-production. Yep, so we've been working with um, Derby West Indian Community Association on their project, which is called The Centre That Powers the Road, um, which is a big National Lottery Heritage Funded project. We kind of supported them to co-write the application. The money has gone to them, and part of the outcomes of that project has been a big exhibition at the Museum and Art Gallery. So this is a, um, a short film by an artist from Plymouth called Malcolm Le Grice. Um, and it made in the early 70s. I guess in terms of the value of doing this kind of co-production work, for us it's partly about relevance, so it's partly about working out what our audiences or our potential audiences sometimes want to see in our spaces and what kinds of stories and narratives and perspectives um, people are interested in hearing about and want to see in our, in our galleries. This is uh, a uh, installation really by um, a musician and uh, composer called Simon Dobson and we worked with Simon with young people in the north of the city, um, a place called Southway which is kind of six miles from the city centre to explore their experience of life after dark. So I'm just thinking about the, the kind of legacy of this project and, and other co-production projects and you know yours included. Um, we are, we've been trying to ensure that as this project has developed that it's something that becomes owned by um, not only the community involved but actually by the box and by the, the institution and in, in some ways we're really quite pleased that the, the institution have changed their uh, collecting policy to reflect the lessons learned from this project. I think with Derby there's a real recognition that the only reason we have these conversations in a way in museums and the only reason that, that museums are changing as society changes is because of the grassroots activism that that community members have been pushing for. You know, very, very often museums are, are slow to, to kind of catch up with that stuff, you know, and I think that, that recognition is, is there at Derby, which I really, really appreciate. And I think that's, that's the legacy of, of this work for us is just continuing to reflect. Well, it's been lovely to see you, Laura. Thank you for coming down from Derby. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the box in Plymouth. Uh, it's been great to hear about your project and co-production and have a safe journey home. Oh, it's been fantastic to see the exhibition, so thanks so much for having me.